All right, welcome back. Sorry for the delay. <clears throat> You're not going to see a delay, but I'm sorry to myself for the delay. My name is Fia Gloss. Uh, we're playing another. We're playing another one here. Uh, we're playing a game called Argonium uh, by Das Not Me. Very true. Argonium is a retro sci-fi horror gaming experience. You are a technician aboard a spaceship transporting important cargoes of Argonium, a powerful energy source. This game was made in a week for the Scream World Game Jam. All assets and sounds were made during this week apart from the tile sets made by Final Boss Blues and certain sprites made using the Perpetual Diversion Generator. Controls are arrows to move, enter space slash spacebar to interact, shift to dash, dash, and T to use weapon. T. Okay, that's a little strange, but it might make sense. P.S. Maybe I will do updates in the future, so keep me informed about bugs or requests related to Argonium. Okay. Um... There's two development logs. Uh, so when I started up, this is kind of just what happened. I, I think so. I have to start it up and it, you know, it's a little weird when I first started up games sometimes and they don't have a title because I just have to do my own thing. Um, so let's it's still not recording. Um, let me try something here. Capture any... F okay, I might have to get a little fancy with this here. Uh, it doesn't appear to be showing up in the video itself. Uh, so let's just... Do I dare just capture my display? I mean, that's what we're going to have to do, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you're going to know all my secrets now. Just... Yeah, okay. I think that's showing up. I don't know. We'll we'll go with it. Uh, so, yeah, start it up. This is kind of what I saw because I wasn't really looking. Um, it's kind of helpful to have a title screen just for me. Um, but we'll reset the game. Okay. Uh, cannot read property tile set names of null. Okay. Okay, we're back in it. We're back in it. All right, so just kind of plopped in. Don't know what, what I'm doing yet. Uh, this... I could probably, I think I could, I think I saw that it said RPG Maker. Uh, it looks RPG Maker to me. Uh, I, I haven't played an RPG Maker game since uh, RPG Maker 2K. Oh my goodness. There is, there is a delay. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to probably be pretty bad at video games. Just so you know, I don't want to alarm anyone. I'm a fake gamer. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Oh boy. Um, anyway, so this is Argonium. It's looks cool. I like the look of it. Oh gosh. Oh, it does not pause while you're reading, by the way. So yeah, this delay is killing me guys. Um, there we go. Okay. Agent Tahoma Williams notes 003. I got this multi-tool I found, and I managed to unlock the elevator to reach the other level. The mechanic was nervous I got here, but he's smart enough not to say anything. This place is filled with emergency pods, but not enough for everybody. Surprisingly, one was empty. Um, just a small note. Oh, and by the way, I am sorry about my mechanical keyboard. I like typing on a mechanical keyboard, but I'm sure it's not fun to listen to a mechanical keyboard. Emergency escape pods. So sorry in advance, but you're just gonna have to deal with it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh, okay. I thought for a second I was going in an escape pod. Okay, we got another person over there. I'm going to read where I am. We're in the left wing. Um, you can take the elevator up there. Okay. I don't know if I'm missing something here, but um, I was just kind of plopped in, so I don't really know exactly what's going on. Um, I don't know if we're... I'm assuming that there's something awry right now because, well, one, that's blinking, I guess. But also there just seem to be these spiders crawl, creeping and crawling around. Thought I saw one over here. Oh, there it is. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. There we go. Got it. Okay. So, so far, it's pretty fun. I like it. I like the look of it and all that. Uh, my only my only real gripe is that um, is the uh, delay on shooting. I mean, that's a little bit rough to deal with. Also, I uh, just noticed this while I was trying to go through here. I don't know if uh, RPG Maker is still this way, but I remember there was a uh, delineation for a tile set where it was like a square, um, and it meant that your character could sort of pass halfway under something um, to sort of give the illusion of depth. I would maybe do that with the, the black here, um, if that's still a thing that it does. Uh, also, I got to say, T is a little weird. Um, Maybe like Z, C. Oh, you can also use X. I would probably let people know you can use X as well. Uh, that's a little more comfortable, and and then that way it's Z for Z for your. Uh, there we go. Z for your um, your uh, inspect, and then X for your fire. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it has to do with the fact that it has to wait for the animation to happen before it fires. So maybe if you could just figure out a way to increase the character speed or something while it's going through the animation, just so it's a little more immediate when you press. Anyway, we'll go. We'll move on. I'll let it go. Captain Manser notes. After escaping the Black Planet and spending nearly six months in an emergency pod, I was finally rescued. The Holden Corporation, which sent me to this cursed planet in the first place, finally retrieved me. They gave me a medal in my own ship, the Irvin. They also asked me to not talk about the incident. I would also uh, go through and, and just... Uh, uh, there's a little, like, capitalization stuff going on. I'd maybe handle that uh i have to say i still don't quite know what's going on on the ship um i don't know it, what what happened that caused this yet so oh run okay okay now we've got something chasing it oh i'm so screwed okay Okay, that is actually cool though. I like that. That's um Let's continue. Oh, I wonder if I'm starting back at the very beginning. Okay, run. Let's let's do the run. Oh, I'm bad at video games. Okay, now I've done it. Oh, probably should have gone through that door. Um then there's another door I probably should have gone under. Okay, now I'm really Yeah, we'll just Okay. Uh, I feel like I should have... I said it already. Maybe I should say it again. Just I'm not good at video games. I just... Um, I like them and all, but I'm not very good at them. So let's just, uh, let's just pretend that I am for the sake of all this. Okay. Uh... Okay. Hmm. Okay. I seem to have gotten... Okay. 
so okay so the screen went black I'm, I'm guessing maybe there's like some kind of mechanic of it chases you for a certain amount of time i think maybe okay yeah so i just have to oh okay um where do i run okay so now this is reminding me of um kind of reminds me of like ao oni a little bit um which is not my favorite game <laughs> I have to say, um, but just that you're getting chased and you have to deal with it. Um, and all everything respawns when you die, which given your little, your pistol here is a little frustrating. Um, that's mostly just me though. I mean, that's just me complaining because I'm not good at video games. Uh, let's see the the sound. Um, I like it. It's pretty good. I like the you know just the. It it's it's kind of minimal, which is good. Um, I could it could even stand to be a little more minimal. Um, and I'd be okay with it. Um. I want to make sure I really explore this. I don't want to. Okay. Captain Manser notes 001. Expedition X-31 was supposed to be a routine mission, exploring new planets, studying minerals and gas. But there is a reason why they called that place the Black Planet. It was colder than space, darker than the void. I have never seen such a deep thing in my entire life. Interesting. All right, you're just hanging out here. There's people, there's people, there's things chasing me and you're just hanging out like, well, who cares? Just don't really care about my needs, do you? All right, was there anywhere else that I could go here? Oh yeah, first time. Uh, okay, so. Let's, is there a, okay, no menu, which makes sense. Okay, so I have to avoid this, uh, this creature, this thing that's chasing me. Um, you know, if it didn't get hung up on walls, then like it would feel real not fair with the, um, the spiders and stuff around, especially when it's like, I have to go through an area I've never been through. <sighs> Maybe slow these down a little bit, actually. Um. It's because it's, I'm guessing it's um, it's an event set with like random motion. That's what I would guess, based on how it's. Oh my god. Well, okay. <laughs> That's a little. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna give this one through one more go through. Um. I, I want to try to actually explore places I haven't been. Um. But I don't think it's a super fun mechanic of getting chased and having to run through areas full of enemies that also can hurt me just as quickly as the thing chasing me. Um, it's a cool look. I like the look of the monster. I don't know if I've said that already. Um, okay, just wanted to test that. I didn't think it would do anything, but... Okay. Just go in here. Okay. Oh, it's still chasing me. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't be. S 
see, so now I, I just kind of feel like I'm cheating it a little bit. I'm like cheesing it in order to... Okay. Can I head back in there now or... Okay, what was that? I don't I don't know what I got. Um oh I oh like a green key card I think. I thought I I noticed something up there changed. So maybe this door up here that was locked earlier Yeah, it looked green. So okay. We made it. Okay. Good. All right. Cool. I didn't want to not make it. <clears throat> so okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a small experience. I don't know really what's going on. I, f I don't know. There's probably other logs that I could have found. Um, maybe add more logs to it, actually, just because that would be kind of helpful to just flesh out a little bit more. Um. Kodakawa Corporation Scream Catalog. <clears throat> so, but I think this is like a pretty cool template for a complete a complete idea. Uh, like I said, it does it reminds me a little bit of Ao Oni, um, which is not something I enjoy. Okay, I didn't see this when I first started, so this is kind of cool. Um which is not something I super like, but it is a, it is a, a way to make a horror game in, in RPG maker. And it's a, like a legitimate way. It's just that I would say, you know, try to temper the randomness and the, like, if I just got chased by the monster and then I walk into a place, oh, okay. This is probably going to tell me more about, What's going on? Agent Brooks, we need you on board. Wasn't I supposed to sleep for another couple light of light years? This is, there is an emergency. Several of our vital systems are failing and we get more critical failures every minute. I already sent two guys down there, but we need as many techies as we can get. Wow, Doc, that's too much information. Don't you forget, I just spent the 10 last years in this box. Is Argonium still a thing on this ship? We can still use it, yes. I actually got two stacks for you. Do you remember how it works? Oh, okay, this is... So somehow I must have missed this when I first started it up. No. Argonium is a precious and incredible mineral that our corporation learned to use to power our systems. Everything aboard this ship works with Argonium, from the reactors to the terminals, but also all of our weapons. It seems to produce a greenish glow when it's exposed to oxygen. Another failure? I need you to join the other technicians in the power core room and fix the systems. Okay. Oh, so this feels like the start of the game. Okay. Now, see, this is... I'm, I'm a lot happier with this than... I, I must have just somehow messed it up and not gotten the actual start of the game. I'll uh, let the creator know what happened here but this this is cool now I, I okay see i was judging this game like i was just plopped in the middle of it and uh was just like here you go run you know okay now i feel a little more grounded about what's going on I'm not just starting in the middle of the hallway somewhere i don't know what that was about then um I would look into that. Okay, now that explains why I seem to have red and blue uh, key cards for some reason. Do I still have my gun? See, I don't even have my weapon, it seems. Talk to this guy. Be careful. We have parasites here. Okay, they're parasites. All right. So these are like creatures that are sucking the energy out of the ship or something. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say... Hey, don't use that terminal, okay? If you press the wrong button, you would send everything in the storage room to the void. 
Okay. Uh, oop, whoa. Uh-oh. Okay. I was like, uh-oh, what did I do? Okay. I seem to have a frame rate drop here. I'm also uploading stuff right now, so that's... It's certainly possible that my 2009 laptop can't handle all this stuff at the same time. Don't blame the game. Blame me. Um... All right, so now, okay, this is what I was about to say. I was like wanting a little more exploration, a little more stuff to kind of look around at. And this is exactly what I'm getting. All right, got a little green thing. I don't know what that was. I'm going to hope, was that health? Did I use the only health up? Okay, probably did. I still don't have a weapon. Brooks. They finally put you back to work. I thought you were going to stay in biostasis forever. Seems like they know who gets the job done when the situation is critical. Or maybe it's just that they couldn't awake anybody else because of the power shortage. It's nice to see you too, Tahoma. Yeah, whatever. You brought the Argonium. Three stacks for you, three stacks for me. What's the situation here? We lost the lights 20 seconds before you arrived. Already lost control of the engines, water filters, food processing, and the terminal system. Oop, I hope I can re reboot the core. That's why you needed the Argonium. Exactly. It will probably get the job done, and I won't need you here and awake anymore. Just wait here. Also, I know I'm like... Oh, run. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so this is what I was kind of hoping for, was like more of an introduction to who I am or what I'm doing. Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Love that. Okay, I'm, I think I figured out the situ what I got to do here. Yeah, yeah. Activate it. Bye bye Somehow, I don't think that's really going to solve my problems. Okay. Doc. What did I just see back there? Where's Ancient Williams? He disappeared in the shadows. Then I was chased by some huge creature. Didn't seem like a regular parasite to me. It must be what caused the failure. Where's the creature now? I ejected it in the void, but doing so also sealed the path behind. Then how do we turn on the systems? There is another core in the other wing. We only use it in emergencies like this. Then you're going there, Brooks. You'll probably need the right magnetic card to reach the emergency power core. Unfortunately, I lost mine, but I'm sure you'll find someone that can give you one. I'm heading to the right wing. No, come back. Don't go to the right wing. <laughs> That's not funny. Uh, <laughs> so. Okay. Oh, wait. There was a... So... Acquired a red key card. Okay, that was a health up. Okay. And I just... Okay. Wow. Okay. See? Now, this is cool. What was I playing? Um, oh, all right. It knocked me back here. I'm just going to explore a little bit. Okay. So let's see. Got to get this guy going back. Yeah, they know who to call. Blah, blah, blah. Reboot the core. We all know what's going on. It's time to run. I like the monster. I like the parasites. Um, very cool. Like this. I love this little this little animation. That's such a nice little touch. All right. 
Bye bye. Um. Okay, so I I would just look into what caused that bug for me to kind of start in a weird spot. It was almost like I it felt like yeah, it must be the end of the game. So because now I kind of know we're not going to be able to turn on the other core for whatever reason, and so instead we're just gonna have to go in the emergency the emergency escape pod. Um, I'll get the uh, key card here. Okay. Uh, still don't have a weapon. And like I said, these frame rate drops are probably on my end. Okay, I don't need that yet. Uh, well, it looks like this main game also... I, I'm going to start calling this the main game because what I first played didn't feel like the complete game. Also looks like not only do you not start off with a weapon, but you uh, you also uh, have to get your key cards and everything on your own, which is cool. Uh, okay, now it's really crawling with this. So not having a weapon is a bit of a downer here. Uh, okay, your Argonium gauge corresponds to your health in the game. The lower the health, the less light you will have to explore. Don't forget to read the notes you will find in your environment. They contain useful tips or even information about the situation of the ship. Okay. Um, definitely feel very naked without my weapon now. I feel bad for uh, complaining about its uh, firing rate before. Now I would love to have that okay um something that i've been noticing at these doorways is um instead of doing a doorway as um as like a a plate that you step on to um oh god not this okay instead of having it be a, a sort of a plate that you step on in order to okay Cool, cool, okay. Um, I would recommend making it um, sort of a solid thing just below the door that you walk into. Just so if I enter a room and I just decide, nah, nah, don't want to, no. Then I can just turn back around and exit. So see how I can press down, but I don't, I can't exit. So instead there should be like a, a box here that I walk into. And once I walk into that box... It should be on the same level as me. I don't know. Like, sorry if these terminologies and stuff don't make sense because that's not how RPG Maker works anymore. Um, and I I haven't used RPG Maker since, uh, like I said, maybe 2004 was the last time I touched it. So these might be really outdated. Dr. Bowen's notes, 002. The tension on board is increasing every day now. I am running tests to see if Argonium exposure has effects on the human brain. Our corporation's our corporation wealth was built on Argonium, and they never allowed anybody to run tests like these since we discovered it. It's a little bit of an oversight. Hey guys, we found a new energy source. No testing though. Don't just don't even worry about it. So it's it's all good. Well shit. If they told me I would need to get a fine well, shit, if they told me I would get a fine life like this, I would have gotten an assignment earlier instead of living in the Wild West on lunar colonies. I don't even know how people around here can get this agitated and nervous. Ne Maybe they never slept in two by three rooms before their mates. Before with their mates. Okay. Oh, my. You got to be kidding me. Okay, no reason to go in there. Ah, it got me. Okay, got the blue. Get the Argonium. Got it. Let me in. <laughs> it's 
probably what you want to feel like. Let me in. Press T to use your weapon. Oh, wait. P.S. Don't try to shoot the big guys. It doesn't work. Yeah, <laughs> too late. Got him. Glitchers. Glitchers. Oh. Only shoots one now. Okay. Oh my god. It's gonna... This is it. This is the Dr. Bowen. Yeah, Dr. Bowen's notes. Okay, so now I've got the blue key card. Okay, yeah. Really slow these parasites down. My goodness. That is... Uh, it's a bit much... No, we'll just continue. Okay, I got to continue from the blue key card. I would have figured I'd continue from getting the blaster, personally, but that's no big deal to come over here and get it. Um, I, in some ways, I think these tutorial things that it, it has are kind of almost not necessary, especially since it does sort of break the fourth wall and talks to me directly, the player. Uh, you might not need to really... Now, you shouldn't do that unless you gotta. And uh, I don't think you gotta. I think as, I mean, you know, maybe maybe just put like a, uh, excuse you. Okay. I feel like I just got one-shotted. Um, all right. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe just put like a small T or something next to the next to it or I'm using X because uh, T is just not really all that comfortable for me uh, I like to have all my fingers all next to each other all snug like a bug um, well hey there yeah I'm in the dark Yeah, Mama came. came. I'll probably have to edit this out, huh? Sorry. <laughs> How long are you gonna be? I don't know. All right. Uh, so blue. Run over. Get the argonium. Okay, that was a fair trade. blaster gun see so if you're gonna make me wait for this animation I feel like I should um, I feel like the autosave should be after I get the gun just so I don't have to watch myself shoot it over and over um, okay we're out of here this is the guy that one shot at me yeah look at that that's okay got him I wasn't expecting to get him Another blaster gun. Okay. Well, that's a little... All right. Captain Mansur notes. 001. Expedition X-31 was supposed to be a routine, re routine mission. Okay. I've read this one. Um, okay. So now I seem to be catching up to where I started at first for some reason. Um, so... I need to fix the power core first. Okay. So I don't quite remember. Is this the power core? Got one. Okay. Maybe this is an unintended consequence that I uh, got the blaster rifle right after I got the blaster pistol. Okay, can't read that. Okay, getting flashbacks to something. 
uh, too quick for me to really know. Okay, well, sh is it coming this way, or do I am supposed to run the other way, or? Oh boy. Uh. Yeah, I think I was supposed to run this way, actually. My bad. That was on me. Okay, so now we're kind of getting into the meat of the game, it seems. Okay, some Argonium up here. I like I like the um, the light effects that happen as you lose health. That's cool. Well, shit. Okay. All right, they're dead. You can stop shooting, Fia. Um, all right, Just dead guy in here. Don't worry about it. Got nothing to say about that. Captain Manser notes, 002. There was more down there than emptiness and despair. We called them the obsidian monsters, colossi of the void, man-eating creatures. I saw them entirely devour a colonist ship on the black planet. I nearly lost my life there, but I managed to escape an emergency in an emergency pod. Okay. Sorry. What was, what was the, what were they called? Obsidian monsters. Okay. Not crazy about the name. Um, oh, well, Hopefully that resets. Oh, good. Some Arconium. Well. Huh. Okay. This power core is down too. I need to push back all the engines to the center of the room to power it up. Okay. You can push the engines by pressing spacebar. Okay. Can I reset them in any way? Uh, since the tutorial is already breaking the fourth wall, maybe uh, maybe we could break the fourth wall by just letting me reset where the engines go. Because I sort of inadvertently screwed myself here. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I was about to say. I was like, all right, well... You can't just do me like that, but it didn't. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, this is cool. Mix up the, the gameplay a little bit. Not just walking. Not just walking and reading. Well, hello again. What are you doing? How you, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah I'll be right out. I'm almost done, sweetie. All right. So, <laughs> jeez. All right, three. Now we just need the last one. All right. I think this is a nice way to break it up a little bit. Um, give me something to do. I also have to commend this. This has got a lot of stuff going on with it for not a lot of development time. Um, that's super cool. This is like, I'm always impressed by how much people can get done um, in a short amount of time. Another failure. Run. Okay. Hopefully this is the way I'm supposed to be running. Seems like it. Loving this. 
Hey, you. Thank God you're here. What happened back there? There were creatures again, but many more of them. There were no survivors. Then our only hope is to abandon ship. What kind of hope is that, Brooks? I don't know. I was still a convict 20 minutes ago. Now I can make myself useful, or I can die free. You are right. There is there is hope. I guess. The escape pods are in another level of the ship. Who knows what's waiting for us there? You can take the elevator in this room. Okay, so the power went on just enough for the elevator to start working again. That's what I'm getting. All right. Now, where are we? Okay. Okay, got him. All right, so this should take me to, yes, up here. This is familiar now. So now I'm back where the game kind of initially plopped me. Um, I don't know what caused that, but it's probably worth looking into. So we run again. I'm kind of a master at this point. I've got this game's number. I'm just I'm just joking. Um before any kind of silliness happens and I lose all my progress. Progress in quotation marks. Um all right. So up here is the green door, right? Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play till the ending here um, just to make sure that there wasn't some sort of additional thing. Uh, okay, so in here is the green card. Yep, so got to run again. Oh, don't want to go that way. Oh, got me a little bit. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. These parasites, they're killing me. Literally, literally. All right, where's it gonna, where's it gonna plot me? No, we're gonna continue. Okay, so, all right, so it's almost like, it's almost like, um, so what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna escape. And then I'm going to take these parasites out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now I've really put myself in the make it or break it mode here. All right. So go in here. Run again. I feel like I'm cheesing it, but we've all seen my skills. So, um, again, the music is good. Um, it's consistently good throughout this of fitting the tone of what's happening on screen. Um, I know they said the tile set wasn't theirs, but it, it the tile set is fitting and the characters fit into the tile set really well, which is kind of like, making an RPG maker game that's like what's the difficult thing about it is to kind of get all these disparate things to match sometimes and everything feels as though it matches all right we made it okay so just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything different so overall good um really it's just little things I, I really feel like the parasites move too quickly and especially when you have something moving fast that's set on random path it's kind of like not cool uh to play with um the shooting mechanic needs to may be a little faster uh so that it's more instant come on over here yeah yes take a seat um any thoughts from you do you have anything to say about it um yeah so oh look at that you figured something out Who are you sitting with, um so 
I would say just work on the path, the pathfinding for the parasites to make them a little, a little less annoying. Um, but overall, I like this game a lot. I, it's a, uh, it's kind of a fun little uh, RPG maker game. I haven't played one of these in a long time. It kind of takes me back. So, um, yeah, just work on those couple little things. But everything else is like totally solid already ready to go doesn't need any work whatsoever um I, I would also say as far as story goes i okay whoa you're going crazy there kiddo um as far as story goes i don't know if if i'm crazy about it it's kind of I, I didn't really even get much out of it other than you know there's obsidian monsters that have something to do with argonium there's probably more stuff for me to find, but because dealing with the parasites was such a pain, I didn't really want to explore too much. So if there is more story and you want people to get into it, you know, just make make it feel a little more fair and a little less like, less like I'm going to spam uh, the fire button so that I can hopefully time it just right. Anyway... I'm going to move on. That was, that was cool. I liked that. Uh, and it fit with the theme perfectly. So, um, my name is Fia Gloss. I got, I got to go. My boss is on me. So I will, uh, see you on the next one. Thanks.